<laughs> hey Libra, what is going on? I hope you are really well. Um, my name is Madame Butterfly. I can shuffle the cards. And this is going to be a little general reading just to see what comes out, see what spirit wants you to hear at the moment, Libra. You are so welcome here. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out the reading. I appreciate it so much. And, um, you know, if you feel like it resonates with you, Libra, and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I would appreciate it so much. Whoa, hope. Oh, what a beautiful card. I've never seen that one. All right, Libra, you have hope. Hoping for a new future. What's that one? Solitude. And what else for Libra, please, Spirit? Detox. Interesting. I think you have many similar cards to Pisces. Is it Pisces? Somebody has similar cards. So you have hope, solitude, and detox. So you're going through a bit of a detox at the moment, Libra. It might be a physical detox. You know, you might actually be like taking more care of your body, eating more fruit and veg, this kind of thing. Um, you definitely have hope for the future though. You might be spending an awful lot of time on your own at the moment. You may also have chosen to remove some people from your life. You may be doing a bit of a purge at the moment, but you have, I want to say like you have like a new hope for your life. You know, um, whatever that is for, like whether that's for your career or for your love life or just in general, you're just feeling better, look at that, leveling up. So this will be why you're going through a detox as well, Libra. Because um, especially, see when you do level up, especially if it's in terms of spirituality, especially if you're watching this um, on the day it's released, there's a portal opening. So there, it's like an ascension portal. So if you're open to it, you know, you will actually be leveling up spiritually as well, which requires you, usually when it happens, you'll find that you start craving more fresh fruit and vegetables and stuff, and more water. But you're just generally leveling up in life is what I wanna say as well. You have surrender control to the universe. So good things are happening. You may not like you don't know exactly where you're going <laughs> whether that's in terms of your work or in terms of your love life but they're saying surrender control this is another thing that happens when you level up things tend to get a little bit less like more out of your control they're not out of control they're just out of your control right you can't see exactly what's happening is usually another sign <laughs> That you're leveling up. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about my throat, Libra. Okay, what else for Libra, please? Okay. You have expect rapid changes. So I feel like when, because it's come out next to surrender control. So I feel like when, like the more that you surrender control, the quicker things are going to happen and also things may start happening very quickly for you it may feel like things are getting out of control but they're not okay just go with it okay it's what's supposed to be happening don't let it overwhelm you <laughs> time to drop some dead weights so you've definitely been through some kind of detox here like, like I said, you might be getting rid of some people from your life. You might be cutting out things in your diet that's not working for you. You might also be releasing things from your past. Keep the faith. So, <clears throat> excuse me, Libra. Um, 
if this has been in terms of people, it can be quite scary. You know, even if the person that, or the people that you're talking about are mean to you, you know, or they're not supportive or they're really toxic, it can be quite scary to be by yourself, right? Especially if it's the first time you've done it. Keep the faith that it's what you're supposed to be doing. If your intuition is telling you that some people in your life have to go, do it. Because <laughs> that's your guides. You know, you can't, you can't ascend when you have people kind of trying to keep you in a toxic environment. It can't be done, you know? Um, so yes, let's get some, so keep the faith, all right? Whatever this is you're, you're dropping at the moment, keep the faith that you're supposed to be doing it, okay? It is supposed to be happening. Okay, what else for Libra, please? Oh, you have hope and it's come out with the full. So you have a new beginning coming in here. Um, I just want to pull the other cards and then I'll talk about that one. You have the magician underneath solitude that's amazing you have the fool and the magician right next to each other oh my god and i'm taking this one too because they're relevant um you have the nine of cups is wanting to come out here and underneath detox you have the star <laughs> so there's a lot of healing going on here okay and you have the nine of cups a wish comes true. Concerns fade away, a love of life. You're just going to start feeling better. If you haven't started feeling like this already, Libra, you're going to feel like this very soon. So you have hope with the fool here, the dreamer. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So whatever this is, you know, whether this is in terms of love, or the path in your life, because you may have been a bit, something may have ended, you know, because the Fool is like the first card in the deck, right? Um, and obviously, it usually comes after an ending, right? After something has ended. So something may have ended, you may have lost your job, or you may have decided to move away from your other job, or a relationship may have ended, right? But I feel like you're getting yourself into a space now where there's like renewed hope, you know? Um, you're taking a leap of faith towards something, like you're following your dreams. There's like a renewed faith, a renewed hope in your dreams. There's also going to be, I want to say, there, there is an unexpected opportunity or there already has been an unexpected opportunity presented to you that you're preparing for now. You have solitude with the magician. So the reason that you have been alone is because you were being prepared, all right? And now you're ready. It was necessary for you to be away from people so that you could learn what you needed to learn, so you could get the resources you needed. The magician, you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. I just feel very strongly like life is feeling good again. You know, like you're feeling happy again, you have hope again, you're starting to see the magic in life again. You might have been coming out of a dark night of the soul. But that was the reason for your, um, your solitude was because you were learning some karmic lessons, Libra. And now that they're done, you're ready, okay? And you have detox here. I don't know why I pulled that down, I didn't mean to. <laughs> and you have the star, which is um, the card of healing. Happy times make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. It also talks of physical healing. So, like I said, for some of you, this is physical. Like, you're physically healing your body. Because, you know, if you've been in a dark night of the soul, you don't want to take care of your body. You want to eat junk food and sit around and watch crap on Netflix, right? <laughs> but when you have this new hope, you know, because I feel like you now have... I don't know if it's a specific thing that someone's offered you, or you just have this hope, but it's like you have, 
something to aim for again. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, you're making good choices here. And again, this could be about removing toxic people from your life, you know? And Spirit is saying you're on the right path, okay? And you have a wish fulfillment coming in. The Nine of Cups here, Libra. All your concerns are just gonna start to fade away. I mean, not all of them, you're still human, right? But I think you're removing a lot of um, toxic energy from your environment. And because you're surrendering control, it makes things a lot easier because you're not constantly sort of clinging to a specific outcome. So it's a lot less stressful. You know what I mean? And it makes, spirit, it makes it a lot easier for spirit to bring in blessings when you're not focused on exactly how the blessing comes in, right? You have perseverance. You have balance. There's you. And you have faith and joy. And passion, we're gonna take that one. Okay, so those two came out together. Okay, perseverance. Some of you as well, now I'm not saying you need to lose weight, okay? I think that people are the shape that they are and you know, that's it, like who cares? It doesn't matter. It's however you feel good. You know, I don't think people should own a scales. I think it's however you, however you think you look good is how you should be, right? But some of you might have been trying to lose a bit of weight or something. They're saying persevere with that, okay? Like, don't give up. Because if you've been trying to fit into a dress or something, you'll get there, okay? And I'm not saying that you need to lose the weight, okay? I'm just saying that's like maybe a message for a couple of you. Okay, perseverance. This card refers to a movement and true feelings. Focus on that which supports you. You may have a heightened emotional state and this card can inspire or discourage. You are being offered a way of getting something back on track. So you're getting back on track. Don't quit before the miracle. Breaking through, overcoming doubts, steadfast success miracles so yeah keep going keep persevering what you work towards will materialize you may not see it but it lies ahead so don't stop don't quit before the miracle libra you have balance which is your card right because he's carrying scales that's a third eye card. Emaciated periwinkle. <laughs> this card may indicate a reluctance to change. You may be hesitating because of the past, but that doesn't mean you should be hasty. Weigh all sides before moving forward. This could mean the start of a relationship. Proceed slowly. I must create before the opportunity disappears. Health matters, okay. Dietary imbalance. So there's something here about, um, like for some of you, you're literally, it's literally about your diet. Some of you may also be focusing too much on losing weight, like you may have lost too much weight. I think Spirit's saying be careful of that as well. Like just don't, this, this is not gonna be for everyone. It's gonna be for someone that needs to hear it. Like. Don't become too obsessed with losing weight or like, you know, with eating healthily, like allow yourself some balance, you know? Okay, you also have faith and joy here. So faith is a um, third eye card. We are all wounded. Some wounds are recognized easily while others are not. Forge ahead and do not allow your pain to hold you back. 
You are meant to inspire others and if you do not carry on, they will suffer. It's time to deliver your message. I am more than I think I am. Your greatness awaits. I have a tremendous amount of personal magnetism. Am I willing to allow myself to shine? Because the star here is also about shining. Miracles all around. Um, yeah. What frightens you is something much smaller than you know. If you are experiencing pain, holding on tighter will only worsen the situation. Your greatness awaits. And it's come out right underneath faith. So keep the faith, okay? Don't let your fear get the best of you because your fear is so small compared to the beautiful, like the miracles that are coming in for you, Libra, because you have joy there. I don't even really think I need to look that up. Yeah, walking on air. A pure essence of joy comes through detachment. So don't hold on too much to the outcome, okay? Keep the faith that it's going to happen, but kind of release control if you can, Libra. And you have passion here as well. See, I feel like you're rediscovering your passion for life is what I want to say with that one. This card indicates creative focus and an ability to ignite the passion necessary to manifest what you desire. The power of Amber is that focused emotion which can create anything, for it brings the, the gift of emotional discipline. I attract to you whatever you desire, if you give up your desire. So it's kind of counter counterintuitive, right? But this whole thing with letting go, it's not that you don't desire it, it's just that you let go of the outcome, okay? Because the thing is, when you're clinging on to something, what you are saying to the universe is, I don't have that. So that's what the universe hears. It hears, okay, you don't have it, so you can continue to not have it. But if you let go and you focus on yourself and you just let things happen around you, then is when it comes in because you release the block. So I hope that makes sense, Libra. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was useful. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, Libra, I'd appreciate it so much. Many blessings. Love and light.